throw down in the comments what we what we should name this guy. We're uh, before we get started on the beer review, I wanted to show you guys this. What should we name our spider? I don't want to scare him too much. Woo! I think he's huge. All right, people, what should we name him? Throw it down in the comments. Welcome back <clears throat> to another beer episode. Tonight, got a beer that my buddies know me very well, and they know that I am an absolute metalhead, and we got a beer that is created by none other than the heavy metal giants known as Iron Maiden. The quintessential metal band. The quintessential metal band. The band that you pretty much always start out listening to when you get into metal. Uh, this one's called The Trooper, just like the song. Um... Yeah, excited about it because it's Iron Maiden. Not only that, but uh, it I is by Robinson's I think, Brewery. I think this is our first British beer. Yeah, our I first, so. our first British beer. I never even heard of coming. Robinson's until now. Yeah, I mean, it definitely caught my eye. I mean, I, I've had Newcastle before, which is England, in England. So I've had more English style beer before. Uh, appreciate how the can is almost entirely black except for the back. Yeah. And then the entirely black can like. except for the trooper on the front. And the writing. Like and a the, good 60% just black. Even though it's mostly black, it's an awesome can. Yeah. Very awesome can. Um, let's crack into it, boys. Chris is going to open his extra slow. I dropped because He dropped his off camera. And, uh, it smells like beer. It smells like beer. He's got the pour. Smells like beer. Mine's foaming still. Still letting go of the carbonation. Ooh, the color's pretty. Ooh, very deep. deep. Very deep amber color to it. Uh, Nick's being very gentle with his pour, which I should have been a little bit more gentle. I think what I'm going to do to give proper... Uh, it's just that... that Beer doesn't even fit in this glass. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, gonna... this is a little bit more than a pint, which is more than the twelve ounces. They don't. What was it? I'm gonna take the last out of the can. What? What was our price on this? Nine ninety nine for a four pack. Nine ninety nine four pack. That's relatively expensive, but it is an import. Yeah. So, um, gonna generally be paying a little bit more for imports just because of the custom cause and all that stuff. I, I achieve success. Um, I'm just going to take the last bit out of the can for me while I wait for my head to go down. That's a good plan. So, uh... Should we wait for Chris to give it a good pour? You went too fast. Look at that, you had two inches. It's going to be my girlfriend say, too. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to sip out of the can then all the way. Q in cheesy cliched sex joke done by Chris you're welcome uh, alright I'm gonna take mine out of the can I don't know the rest this of it this is a can taste it's not as uh yeah I'm gonna do like the can taste and then like the well, yeah the, the, the glass taste yeah 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 yeah. to me beer tastes different even if it's just from canned to glass Nick just took a sip let's see how Nick feels Tyler tell me tell me tell me are you in love? It's fine. It's pretty easy to drink. Damn good beer. 4.7. Tastes all right. Yeah. Lemon. I do get the lemon. The lemon, the lemon, it, the lemon was not a lie? No, I do get the lemon. Um, 
No metallic taste. No metallic taste out of the or can? Metallica taste. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh, Bruce Dickinson, if you're watching, I apologize for the for the many metal thrash metal puns that are going to come to be. That last sip was possibly. Could have been. I think the last sip out of the can was just foam, pretty much. But um, now we're talking. Pretty good. I like it. I do like it. Very good. Um, Definitely gets points for being uh, created by Iron Maiden. Um, it gets it gets a step up. It's better than average because of it. Oh yeah. Purely based on uh, taste. It it it's got that feel though. That uh, British pub feel to it. Yeah. Where you'd be eating this or um, eating this, you'd, you would be drinking this with. Um, while eating, while eating whatever they have, the crisps, fish and crackers, fish crisps. and chips, crisps, the pub mix where they have all the different kind of. I won't weigh because I know nothing about English beer, so I can't. I can't complain yeah, about anything. Yeah, uh, like I've had Newcastle. Newcastle's Newcastle solid. Uh, brown ale. Newcastle yeah. brown ale is a solid beer. Uh, I think this goes. This stands right toe to toe with it. Actually, and it's actually, as I'm drinking it, it's kind of getting a better score for me. I'm waiting for my foam to go down in my glass. Oh, you can drink through that. Yeah, you can drink through that. That's not that much. Go for you know, it. I was looking through the side. You know what? I don't want a foam mustache. You already have a mustache. Refreshing. Refreshing. Definitely be good with food. Uh, yeah, it makes me hungry. Oh yeah. Uh, but not like a sweet food. No. You want savory? Mm -hmm. Cheesy pizza. Pizza be good with this. I know. I don't know how much hamburgers, fish and chips. I, th I think this is just a food Crisps. beer. You could yeah. pair this with food, and it would just go absolutely amazing with any type of food. I think. Besides. You know, we're excluding dessert. Uh, I want poutine. poutine. Poutine, this would be great with poutine. If you don't know what poutine is, Nick, explain it to him. French fries, gravy, cheese curds. It's big in Canada. I a big Canada. Canadian thing. Um, I've actually never had poutine, but I love French fries. Oh, we're going... We're I love going gravy. And I love cheese curds. We're going so to get poutine. Can we get poutine around here? Lucky Monk has it. There's a place called Tracks, and they've got a burger with Carry Lake. on it. Carry? Carry not Carry Lake. I said McHenry. Carry Lake. It's in McHenry? It's tracks? There's an over, there's the, there's over the tracks in Carry. Which is, no, that's Tracks in Carry. Yeah. Or is and it just tracks? tracks? Then that might be the one. I might be confusing with McHenry. Maybe. Unless there's two locations. I don't know. But, um, there could be two locations. Because the side is one. They ha um, I believe they do have a burger with poutine on it. Delicious. But, uh, it's amazing. Man. I'm just thinking about now the good burgers I had. There's a place, if you're ever in Illinois, in Naperville, I can't think of what the place was called. Egg on both sides of the... Uh, Ooh. Uh, on both fried sides egg? of the fried egg. You, or you can have sunny side egg. So however, you, however, have you, you been want. to Kuma's Corner before? But it's on both sides, and then uh, losing focus. It, it was like a, uh, it was just I don't know I don't know how to describe it. It was just such a great burger. You, you know, like, I've, I've had I've had egg on hamburgers before. Oh, it's it's uh, Kuma's Corner claims that they invented that. Yeah, okay. it's a metal bar, and all their burger names are based off metal bands. Like, there's a Slayer. Um, like an Iron Maiden, a Slayer. Kumar. Slayer. Similar stuff like that. Like, there's, there's like, a, 
there's like a Led Zeppelin one too. Like they have a bunch like of like there's some rock hard rock. Stuff. Yeah, they've definitely got like stuff like that, and it's like like you walk hey. in and you're like, oh god. Without Zep, there would be no freaking metal today. So, all you young metalheads, remember: without Zep, without ACDC, without Deep Purple, without all them, there would be no well. There would be no modern metal. Metal was born with the first uh, Black Sabbath. Album. Oh yeah, that was oh that yeah, was day one. Oh yeah, that was. So, anyone who calls it dad metal, you need to go get your head checked and listen to it because. Yeah. But if we wanted to go to Kuma's Corner, Michael has the owner's business card, which allows you to, you don't have to wait, you skip the line, and that place has two-hour waits all the time. Shit. Shoot. I, mean, I think they just opened one in Schomburg. We can skip the line. Because I'm that man. Yeah. I like well, it. Well, we're going to have to do that one day. I like it. Kuma's Corner. Let's go on like a road trip. We'll get some poutine. We'll go down south in Ellen, or down, down to southern Illinois for our horseshoe. Yeah. We'll eat some grits. grits. Get some grits. Go up to Wisconsin, get some spotted cow. Grit, grits are good, though. Grits. For everybody who wants to hate on grits, grits are good. Grits are good. I mean, Whatever you say. It's a texture thing. It's got a taste. It's corn. Grits, grits, corn. If you'd like corn, you could possibly like grits. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, back, to, back to the beer. Back to beer. Back to beer. Apologies for like the five minute. Um, it's, a, it's a good beer. Good uh, beer. Great. I would say great beer. I mean. Yeah. It's, you know, as we've been doing this, I've obviously been trying to challenge myself with finding the perfect 10 out of 10. I think beers are like video games. It's really hard to find that 10 out of 10. And it changes for everyone. Yeah. Definitely. Like, Nick has found his 10 out of 10. I say I found my 10 out of 10 with, like, Summer Shandy and yeah. Port Rocker. But we haven't done a Port Rocker video, but we did do that Summer Shandy video. That, me and Chris. Port Rocker is an amazing beer. Sam um, Adams, check it out. It exceeds... Summer. Summer. Uh, it exceeds all expectations. Yeah. Um, but, I don't know. It's really hard to find, like, a 10 out of 10 just beer like like this like without a flavoring without a you know certain appeal to it like without like orange like I don't know like, yeah I, that's how I feel it's really hard to find that in beers like this because pretty much all you taste is beer I mean yeah you get the little lemon aftertaste but I mean, it's not like it's not overpowering. It's it's not overpowering. It's just, so it you're goes tasting in the, with beer. the beer. Yeah. yeah. Like I think that's a lot of people's gripe with beer nowadays, or at least that I've heard, is that oh, it tastes like beer though. Maybe I mean, yeah. When I'm drinking a beer, I want to taste. I want it to taste like beer. You know. Yeah. I mean, I make an exception for summer shandy and pork pork tracker because that's what they are. It's beer and lemonade. I mean. So I'm expecting to have a lot of lemonade in there. I don't like summer shandy. You don't? I like I like summer shandy. I do. Poor tracker, I love. However, I will say after we made that summer shandy video at the beginning of summer. Yeah. To and then, kick into summer. And then I had poor tracker for the first time after that video. Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Um, and unfortunately, I, I do think Port Rocker exceeds Summer Shandy. By far. Now that I've had it's Port Rocker. It's leagues ahead. Um, leagues ahead. I, I don't think it's leagues ahead. I, I do agree it's I, better. I do think it's ahead, though. I do think it's better. I know we have that beer, but we need to, we need to make a video. Because that that's that's like a nine. I don't know if it's out anymore. I don't even think it's out anymore. I, I think we'd have to find some more that's uh, I don't think come next season we'll yeah be there. it's happening I would say next season we have to do it it's so good and unfortunately I have to take summer shandy off the pedestal that I've held it on for so long yeah dang 
And Sam Adams just freaking killed it with with Port Rocker. But um anyway. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I don't even like Sam Adams isn't my favorite brewery. Sam Adams like they have, I don't think I've found anything else I like from them. I like their Boston. Boston Liar, of course the original Well yeah, the Um I've had I had another one that I really liked. I can't remember the name. But I had that five, what was it, like, five tastes of pumpkin or whatever. Oh, yeah. That The fall. I'm sorry to whoever likes it. But I, oh, that was just awful. Man. That is just, that is just an awful beer. Their pumpkin ale is just awful. Did I try that one? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think the the first time I had it was the McGregor Mayweather fight. I think I think you did have it. I so think, he might have. I think had, he, I was there. So I think I, I, I think he already started, and then I drank some of it, and then I was like, "This is nasty." Yeah. Oh And then yeah. you were like, "I got it." And he took down the rest. Yeah. I yeah. think I hated it too, didn't I? Yeah. Though? But you were you were a I champ. Love, I love like pumpkin pie and stuff, so I was oh, expecting. Oh, pumpkin like pie it. is absolutely delicious, but uh, I just I just don't think pumpkin and beer should go together. Yeah. Based off that, because Sam Adams Brewery is a brewery that knows how to brew beer. I mean, they yeah. just Boston Lager is amazing. Um, Port Rocker. Port Rocker is amazing. I wish I remember the name of the other one that I've had. I think it was an Oktoberfest beer. I'm a big fan of Oktoberfest beers. I love Oktoberfest beers. But um, absolutely amazing. But like <laughs> that pumpkin one, they just completely missed on it uh in my opinion i i apologize if you feel differently um you can throw a comment down if you don't like that one or if you like that one whatever you can defend it or agree with me either way but uh yeah we're getting off topic we're sure oh my god we're getting so off topic let's get started this is it's a hard beard this one's a hard one to talk about that's the problem it's good it's not, good it's not it's not just amazing it's it it's exciting because it's the label slayers. <laughs> it's <laughs> on that note, I'll give it a six out of ten. Uh, it's above yeah. average. I like it. Um, six out of ten. Okay. I want I wanted to give it an eight because Iron Maiden. In that case, I'm going to give it a seven and a half because I think the half comes from being that Iron Maiden made it and Iron Maiden. Frickin' rocks to this day. I don't, until they die, they're never gonna stop shredding up. So uh, I think a seven and a half. I think they made a very good beer. Uh, I think I I do think it was well crafted, but um, yeah. I mean that's where I stand. I think we're just missing the food part. I'm gonna go with the. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the seven. I wish I could eat something with it. I think it's, mm. it's, it's good. Oh, really? Go get us pizza. It's it's a good. Uh, Grip. I just spilled everywhere. It's a good bear. Out of it's focus. Just not. Um. It's a good bear. It's just not going to be you know like the wow factor ain't there. It's a good like sit down. I you just, know like I want a beer. I'm gonna drink one beer. Boom. Oh yeah. I'll, tr- I'll drink this. I mean, like, boom. You're good. This isn't something I'm gonna keep coming back to. A hard day at work. I would definitely just come to this. And just yeah. Like, this is something you know, like trooper. You're going down. How how uh, we portray like the British people to do? Just where like they get off work, hit the pubs, mm-hmm. and drink a beer. This is the like this is the beer. And hey, so. On the note, I mean, now that I'm drinking it, and I have a little bit left, it's actually, it's starting to, it's not as cold. We had these at perfect temperature when we poured them. I'm not, like, poured them, yeah. Yeah, we had them at perfect temperature, but now that I have a little bit left, you know, it's become that warm. But it's really not, it's I, not I, horrible. I don't imagine this being terrible when it gets warm. It's not that bad, actually. It's, it's doable, it's... When it's 
it's not like um because this does have a little bit more of a like kind of hoppiness to it yeah like like sometimes those beers they have a more hoppy taste to them and a more hoppy feel when they start to warm up are absolutely garbage this one isn't i mean it kind of it holds its own through the temperatures so uh, it stays smooth throughout the whole time and uh yeah but i still stand by my seven and a half that's good uh, that's a good score it's a good beer it's an Check above it average beer it's definitely above average do you think it's worth the do you think it's worth the 9.99 for a four pack price tag i think so Try um, sale. because the cans are a little bit bigger than uh your usual cans but it's like probably 14 ounce how many ounces? It's a pint. It's a it's one pint, so. Point nine, fluid ounces. I mean, so. This is what a pint looks like in a can, pretty much. Um, yeah, I think it's worth it. Nine ninety nine for four pack pint. I think it's beer. one pint. Point nine, one pint. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my fault. I'm sorry. I'm I'm reading it wrong. Um, one pint. Uh, it's almost one, so, point, one pint and one ounce. Yeah, it's almost one pint, one ounce. So yeah, I think it's, um, I think it's worth it at nine ninety nine. It's worth trying. Definitely. I don't think we'll ever buy it again. Like most beers, we don't buy them. Again. Um, I would buy it, maybe not. If I saw it on sale. I would if definitely I buy it on sale. sale. If I saw it on um, sale, I'd buy it. If I was having know, like a, hard if I was having like a party, I think that it's like not a collect a, a, a collectible beer that I would pick up. Like, I mean, if like I had, if like you were throwing like a birthday, I would be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna pick this up for Tyler. You know, I right. like this. Yeah, and I do like it. It's even though you know, like the beer could be bad. But like then you, you look at the can you're like yeah uh, oh, yeah, yeah that's cool like novelty beer you know even if this was bad if, if this was a bad beer which it is not no re- it's not bad. let me reiterate that it is not a bad beer uh, sweet novelty can I mean yeah if you're into that you can keep the can I'm not gonna lie I'm probably gonna keep a freaking can this one will yell at me the one with headphones over here uh, aka my wife. But, uh, you know, it's just the cool, the trooper on the front. Uh, if you've been watching this channel, you know I like metal, and metal likes me. And, uh, yeah. I mean, that's it for me. That's it. I think that's it. Sorry, we got a little bit off topic. Uh, yeah. We haven't got off topic in a while, so. You know, it was bound. It was bound to happen. Well, we get off topic a lot, but we got really off topic. Like we haven't really got that we much off topic. Like, this one, yeah, it was like sixty percent, seventy percent. Yeah, it was like sixty yeah. percent other stuff. Yeah, forty percent uh, the trooper. <laughs> which, but is okay. uh, I mean, which is okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, um, that's it, right? That is it for us. That's it. Uh, we are signing off, but be sure to hit that subscribe button. Throw a comment down if you want to see anything, if you have any recommendation, anything you actually just want to see. Uh, we will do our best to pick that up and, um, and review it. So, uh, yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I don't know why I'm clapping, but... Uh, you normally do. Do I really clap? You do. Do I really clap time. that much? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, guys, stay safe. Be safe. See you next week.